Hello, welcome to my channel. So this is the drawing, the, um, like a walk in process. I, uh, I'm thinking of a scene um, that a girl, maybe a princess, that um, is looking at the sea. And uh, we got a, um, like a fleet um, sailing uh, to, uh, I don't know, maybe to a wall or something like that. So uh, I uh, initially I try to draw that um, every object, every shape in Photoshop. But uh, yeah, I uh, changed my mind. I think hey, why not use Blender to do that? Because uh, uh, so if I use Blender to make all this air shape, and I can I can make it even move. I can even make it like emit light, and maybe got some propeller that uh, like rotating. So this will be a really fun project, uh, some experiment that I want to do. So basically, uh, the main object, uh, or main subject of, uh, of, of the drawing or art will be like the, um, the drawing, like 2D drawing, and maybe I'm going to try out the environment to uh, uh, build the environment in Blender and then put it all the, the, together. I, uh, I have done this experiment in, um, in one of my work called Pause. So basically like, a, like um, when you like look at the girl in the, uh, cafeteria, uh, in the cafe and um, everything just paused, like human connection. So I think maybe um, I'm going to do this as well. And uh, what is more, I'm thinking about adding a little bit of storytelling of the work. So I'd like to combine whatever I'm learning and building together and to actually tell a story. Uh, maybe just using a rendered version uh, and uh, some some drawing and then some uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe some animation that can connect it together. And maybe add some, like, you know, games to it, but uh, they all uh, sort of connected and tell a story, a tell an idea, okay? So let's get to it. So this is a series of how I, you know, I learn and make the airship, okay, from scratch using Blender. Okay, so I've always um, um, want you know build a world that uh, kind of cyberpunk or steelpunk sort of a uh, game. I think um, the, the the airship is more like a steampunk. So here is the. Like you can you can search airship. I find this uh, design is really good, and of course you can uh, you can search all sort of airship. But uh, you can um, get the airship's design um, pretty easily. So you have to find a shape in, in order for you, for you to to you know get the, the the general idea of what you are building. So basically, uh, I think most of airships are like a huge um, like huge balloon. At the top, and then we got some container. But uh, I want to change it a little bit because uh, you know it's your world you are creating. So uh, I like this airship shape to be rounded because um uh, this design, like the veranda or something like that, um, that uh, the girl is uh, is holding, and everything is just sort of like a curve. So I like. Like this is a good side. So uh, so basically, the good side will be more curved, and the bad side will have been more you know pointy, and more dark color something like that. Also, I, I like a, a sort of a contrast. So um, the airship's design already is really pretty curved. So the uh, like the the balloon part is already curved, but but things as a warship, I, I want the um, the viewer to 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 watch this and say hey this is a war ship is this a war and this is an airship for war okay forgive my English I'm not very good at uh, speaking this uh, specific thing so hopefully you can understand it's a I, I like a viewer to say hey I know this is airship but this definitely is going uh, for a war not for you know tourists or something like that so I like the airships like the how part of the airship uh, to be rounded, so it's a represent a good sign. Uh, we are at the good side, and uh, we're protecting our country maybe. And, and then the uh, like the lower part of the airship to be um, like propelling for war, maybe add some cannons, something like that. 
Okay, so that's what I have in mind, and um, um, I I don't want to I don't like to design things. I want to just make things on the go uh, and uh, see how it goes. So uh, let's just open our Blender, and I'm using Blender 4.0.2, uh, um, but uh, let's just close this first and bring the Blender here. Okay. So basically, um, the airship will have a huge, like a rounded shape. Um, so what I'm thinking is, um, maybe just delete this. Shift A, make a cylinder, or maybe a UV sphere. I think that's more like it, because you know it's an airship, okay? And I, I got a huge amount of coffee. Uh, which I am going to drink because this uh, I feel just terrible. I ju just have a really terrible cold. Uh, if you watch my previous recording, I sneeze a lot, and um, yeah, and my throat hurt like a uh, hell. Okay, so forgive me. And um, let's make this. Um, should be. Uh, uh, let me get the screencast key switch on so you guys can see what the key I'm holding. Okay, and make it transparent, or you can just select everything. Okay. Um, I'm going to scale this up, um, but um, scale that so it's x axis maybe x axis. Okay, I'm not worrying too much about geometry here. Um, just want to make the basic shape ready. Okay, definitely not good enough. So maybe scale Y axis a little bit. Okay, maybe um, let's just go to the edit mode. And do this way. Right, and um, the airship is not going to be. I think I made made a mistake. I think this part should be uh, go to the front. Yeah, sorry about that. So maybe just to quickly undo all the changes. Sorry about that. I should have just to rotate this part a bit. So rotates at the y axis, 19 degree. So this would be much easier. So the first part and the final part would be much easier to deal with. And Let's just scale that x axis. That's more like it. And scale that so uh, um, that a little bit. Maybe not at all. Maybe like this. Okay. Our y axis do definitely need a little bit of stretching. So maybe something like this. I'm thinking of like more bling shape. Mm, linear, okay. Let's go to the render mode, pretty good. And I'm thinking of uh, like steampunk style, so let me look at the uh, um, reference. Okay, so this will be a huge balloon, and uh, I'm thinking of balloon plus. Um, like the the sail. Uh, I don't want a wing because that would be so modern. Um, I'm thinking of like a steampunk, but uh, not so high tech style, but using like a steam and magic something like that. So steam represents science, technology. <laughs> yeah, uh, that sort of thing. Of course, uh, there will be magic as well. Uh, yeah. And um, I'm thinking of just to um, make the center part like extrude a little bit. So I'm going to make it transparent. Okay. Uh, can I just uh, scale it up a little bit? Yeah, I can. And um, I'm using this proportional editing. So when I scale that, 
I want to influence the rest of the area. So it'll be like proportionate change. Okay, like this. So I don't want this to be too pointy. Okay, so if it's too pointy, it's like too aggressive. Oh, I don't want that. So maybe here, proportionally uh, changes, but a little bit uh, smaller. Scale that, a proportionate change. Okay, maybe something like this. So it got a sort of like stupid feeling, but um, oh, I think that's a uh, that's pretty interesting feeling. Okay, so good. I like this feeling. So it's a kind of like stupid, not so narrow ball. Uh, you might uh, interpret this as a pretty aggressive sort of uh, shape. So maybe like this. Okay, I just uh, you know use my imagination here. Maybe smooth that a bit. Okay, and um, and let's make some sail. Or uh, maybe just the the body of the uh, shape. Okay, I'm thinking of. Uh, Focus on this. Okay, and uh, or maybe orthographic graphic view. Um, let me scale the x axis. Uh, I don't want this shape to be bigger than the blue. Okay, so maybe something like this. Yeah, I, I like it. Maybe a little bit complex design, so not necessarily just one below, maybe multiple below. But uh, let's just finish with the like the sheep, the the body of the sheep. Um, of course, there are countless ways of doing this. Um, uh, by the way, I'm just a beginner, so uh, uh, you can try out whatever you want. But uh, just just to be aware, you know, you're being warned. Okay, so uh, I'm a beginner. I'm going to extrude a little bit. Grab that maybe X axis. Okay, maybe uh scale that down a tiny bit. Yeah, maybe not grab that. Just to plainly extrude. Make this smaller. Um this time I don't need this proportion change right now. Okay, so here, maybe extrude a little bit, so it thinks it's a shape, right? Maybe something like this. Maybe extend that a little bit. So scale that, but our y-axis is much wider. Okay, you know, I think this is a, like a warship sort of thing. So uh, let's select every holding shift so I can do the multiple selection. Maybe not transparent mode. So just one, two, three, four. We can extrude uh, extrude that downward. Okay. That downward. Um but I'm going to scale it at the x axis. Okay, so it's more like a sheep like shape. And I think this part can, yeah, because I want it to be aggressive at the hole, but uh, the balloon part is not so aggressive, like a, a little stupid. Um, that kind of represents is really slow. And it's meant for, for peace, but uh, you have to you know change that for war or something like that. So you can add the uh, background story to 
your um, yeah, to your project and uh, that's my background story okay so I tend to you know make a background story as I move along so it would be a good time to you know think about things maybe grab it a little bit okay so yeah I think maybe add a not proportionate uh, sorry, not proportionate and uh, select this. Okay, and I'm going to grab this out a bit. Maybe something like this. Okay, these two parts is a little bit weird. So, what I'm going to do is to select the uh, OT part. And grab it up a little bit. Okay, this centering part maybe not so up. Grab it down. Okay, so yeah, pretty satisfied with this. Uh, let's just shade or smooth. Yeah, not necessarily need to smooth the shader because uh, that would be really maybe not smooth it because I sort of want it to be like a wooden shape okay so it'd be a really hard wooden shape this is a little bit stupid um so i'm going to like, like actually shrink it down a little bit so go to edit mode and i can make it um, um it's like a feast through mode so maybe uh one select circle let me use the select box that's uh, at least that's much easier for me to select so we got a three point here and maybe holding shift so we can add more three point more like top mode scale that but add the y axis so really shrink it down a little bit This two parts can be shrunk as well. So this holding shift one two and this one sorry yeah one wrong move and go back from start a little bit sad but doesn't really matter because yeah I can always. Uh, sorry, it didn't hold the shift. So I got two. I can scale it at the y axis. Okay, just getting it inside a little bit. So maybe something like this. Let's look at it. Yeah, pretty good. And I'm going to add the deck. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm thinking of uh, maybe just highness. Yeah. We don't need it for now. Extrude. Oh. Okay. Let's extrude this on. But uh, let's shrink it a little bit. So scale it, but not y axis. So just scale it like this. Maybe scale even more and make some area where I think mainly I did the command area will be like here okay there will be the command area so maybe two let's just extrude it out so there will be our command center maybe extrude but maybe scale it down like here but then extrude out so 
just make it a little bit complex so people can come out <laughs> and uh, yeah watch something like that and uh, I like to be aggressive so um, this part definitely need to extrude and this part may be connected to this um, like a floating mechanism so I'm going to leave it blank and this will be the like the resting area so extrude and uh, let's scale that or maybe not scale but just to grab it x-axis so I can make it a little bit fancy shape like a yacht or something like that and extrude that as well okay and uh, can I extrude this part and this part as well can I do that so can I just to switch the uh, Y and extrude can I do that clearly it does not work I don't know how to get it working so um, maybe can I just do something like this I'm not familiar with this let me uh, go from top view so yeah uh, I can't do that yeah let's think of the way yeah I uh, think 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 maybe I can I can cover it in half and uh, use mirror modifier um yeah I'm not so sure about that so maybe just a loop cut I think in a loop cut we do okay um I already come with a solution so just add a loop cut okay maybe make it two loop cut okay like this and uh, we got more geometry to work with okay I'm going to get this and uh, this sorry this Sorry, I think uh, so it's just a little bit transparent. I need to got the dot here. Can I make it extrude? No. Yeah, maybe just do that manually. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I need to research a little bit. So maybe just extrude a little bit. Let's scale it down. Extrude and scale it down. And extrude and scale it down a bit. Okay, just a, a fancy um, uneven pattern. Yeah, good. It's a pretty interesting shape. This shouldn't get to outside. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's just uh, extrude this part out. Okay. Maybe a bit. And scale it. Definitely needs to scale it down a bit. So in order for it to be aggressive, I like it to have a really pointy shape. So scale the, uh, the y-axis. Just scale it down. I really extrude a lot, like a really a lot. Okay, but to scale it down. So it's definitely a little bit aggressive than before. Um, this seems like a little bit stupid. Um, and definitely a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is to make it bigger and uh, maybe scale that a little bit and okay so this sort of uh, need to have a connecting area in the center I haven't made it this so I might need to do this maybe leave it up a little bit not connecting to the ship. 
maybe it has some sale. Never right. Okay. Uh, let's add some basements. Maybe a cylinder. Grab that X. Scale that um that. Just uh, actually got connected. I'm thinking of like a huge part connection and smaller parts, smaller parts, smaller parts. So can I make a duplication? Um, so I can scale that, but uh, scale that Z axis. So we've got a base for it, and uh, then I can duplicate and scale that not Z axis, so I can get a smallerish part. Grab it Z axis down a bit. Okay. And this will be, um, you know, you can add more view to here, so you can like add more. You know, the, the, the uh, uh, hot air to the uh, balloon part. Um, I still think the balloon is a little bit too pointy. I like to be uh, really um, aggressive. Can I grab it? Inside a bit. Okay. So it's definitely not aggressive. Okay, and this part I want it to be like a like a droplet shape. So let's just grab this. Grab that, maybe X axis, and make it gently make everything. Okay. So is this just a one balloon? Um, I'd like you know have some safe option. So this ship, maybe this balloon got destroyed, you got some, like a spare balloon, <laughs> okay, so just for safety, I'm going to duplicate this balloon a little bit, and uh, this time I'm going to use mirror modifier, so I'm going to make it, uh, I just signed, um, not transparent, okay. Scale this up, uh, scale this down a bit. Maybe scale that um, x axis a bit. Okay, so this will be our scale, uh, like the despair one. In case, you know, it's got kaboo, got destroyed, or still got like a spear one. The mirror modifier. Um, I think I need to apply the changes. Sorry about that. Uh, let me just get rid of this mirror modifier. Uh, object mode. Uh, shift A. Yeah, not Shift A. I think Control A or something like that. Yeah, Control A. Even though I'm using Mac. Control A. Apply all transform. This way, the mirror modifier should work. This is the thing that I've learned throughout my learning process. It would be like a really stupid um, design to represent. This is a like the warship, but um, still, it's a little bit stupid. Uh, it's not going to, you know, win the battle or something like that. Maybe this is too much. Maybe I'm going to shrink it down. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm going to add some sail ads here. And 
maybe add a huge pipette on the end of it. Yeah, maybe uh, add a pipette. So let's look at here. I may have recorded this video for too long. Oh my gosh, I recorded it for 30 minutes. So I'm going to pause here. Yeah, so there will be the part one. And at next video, I'm going to make um, maybe the propeller and uh, maybe some detail. Okay.